Mr. Obama, the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution does not talk about an army that is covered elsewhere in the Constitution. It does talk about a well-regulated militia which is made up of civilians with their own weapons. The Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution does not talk about protecting government or government resources, but it does talk about being necessary for the security of the free state. The Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution does not say a single word about hunting or sport, but it does say, The people's right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. To the American people, as many laws have been banning firearms in cities such as Chicago, New York, and Washington, D.C., have been implemented, and, as the courts get them, they are now being overthrown as unconstitutional. Even if they were not ruled on, they are an infringement to your Second Amendment rights, and you have no obligation to obey it, and the courts have no obligation to enforce it. No one is bound to obey an unconstitutional law, and no courts are bound to enforce it. Mr. Obama, as the chief law enforcement officer of the country, you are responsible for the conduct of those under your command. There will be no further tolerance of any of the following. Any act to infringe on any of the Bill of Rights, as identified in the U.S. Constitution. Any act to seize or locate any firearms or ammunition. Any act to control the ownership of firearms or ammunition. Any act to control the manufacturing or sales of firearms or ammunition. Any act to document ownership, purchases, or attempts to purchase firearms or ammunition. Any act to deploy or stage for deployment any military forces or government employees or agents thereof, for the purpose of asserting control over the population, or the rights of the people, or the states, as defined in the U.S. Constitution, such as would be used in martial law. Any act to write, form, negotiate, enter into, or comply with any international treaty that would or could do any of the points mentioned previously. Read versus Covert. 354 U.S. 1, 1957. Treaties do not confer powers not authorized by Constitution. Any action taken by you to attempt to perform those acts, or similar acts, as interpreted by the American people, or any attempt by you to skirt your responsibility to the true office of the presidency, will be viewed by many people as your willful act of insurrection and treason against the American people, as those acts would be willful disregard of your oath of office. Any further attempt by you, your administration, law enforcement, or those under authority of the presidency to perform or assist in performance with any body attempting such acts will be viewed by many people as your willful act of insurrection and treason against the American people, as those acts would be willful disregard of your oath of office. Any further attempt by you, your administration, law enforcement, or those under authority of the presidency to do any of those acts mentioned or anything similar will be viewed by many people as your willful act of insurrection and treason against the American people, as those acts would be willful disregard of your oath of office. Upon such acts, it is the responsibility of the Vice President and Cabinet members to immediately exercise their authority under the 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution to remove you from office. Failure of such act may be viewed as an act of insurrection and treason by the Vice President and Cabinet members as such failure would be willful disregard of each of their oath of office. Upon failure of the Vice President and Cabinet members to perform such duty of your removal, it then falls on Congress to immediately force your removal by legal means. Failure of any member of Congress to perform such duty, or to hinder it in any way, will be viewed by many people as an act of insurrection and treason against the American people, as such failure would be willful disregard of each person's oath of office. Upon failure of the Congress to perform such duty, it will be the responsibility upon the United States Supreme Court for failure to act in past or present to rectify said situation. 
and as such, will be viewed by many people as an act of insurrection and treason against the American people. As such failure would be willful disregard of each Supreme Court Justice's oath of office. Upon failure of all the aforementioned bodies to perform such duty, it will be the authority and duty of any and all members of the United States Armed Forces to remove the President, Vice President, Cabinet members, and members of Congress and the U.S. Supreme Court justices from power by military force. Failure by all military members to perform such duties will constitute as an act of civil war against the American people by said authorities. This video has links to other sources. This is for news and education reasons, and so falls under fair use, but no doubt, some people will try and have it removed. Download it, and re-upload it, or pass it along. Let the truth be known. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget.